Welcome back to our channel. This today we are bringing you another Shein haul, and I've got quite a few items. I've spent a little over a hundred dollars on all of these, and that was with a discount. So stay tuned if you want to see what we got. All right, so I'm going to start with um, tops. I got a few dresses, I got a pair of shoes, some accessories, so a good mix of things. This was on my first time um, ordering from them. So first top I got, I pretty much sized up on everything the first go around. This one is like a little gingham top. It's got little sunflowers on it. Um, I got this in a 4X and I'm gonna try it on for you guys. All right, so I tried on this first top. Um, if you have larger arms, it works really well in the arms. I did size up to this one in a 4X, which is a US 20. And the arms are pretty comfortable. Um, this is kind of like a one of those baby style, uh, baby doll style um, shirts. Um, it's got that kind of gingham print that's on it, and is trending a lot, as well as the little I guess they're daisies. I think I said sunflowers before, but daisies. Um, I just paired them really quickly with um, some pants. These pants actually I ordered from Rainbow, and I'll do a separate haul on that. But you could wear this to work. You could wear this out on the weekend or whatever, um, you know, just something kind of relaxing. Um, the material on this shirt is a little bit, um, almost like a gauzy type material. So it's very thin. It's not see-through, but um, it's very comfortable. It's pretty breathable as well. And it's very warm here now. So um, I've worn it twice already and been pretty comfortable. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the next piece. All right, I just went ahead and kept on the same pants but this shirt is actually the next piece. Um, I'll probably keep these pants on for the remainder of the tops. That way um, you can just see only, bas bleh, <laughs> sorry, basically focus on the tops. All right, so it does come with this little tie and actually it is a little bit stretchy. Um, the fabric itself doesn't have a lot of stretch, but just a little bit. Um, I got this one also in a 4X and it, it fits pretty true to size. It's got kind of like a flutter, flutter sleeve or something. Um, this one is gets a little bit high. I did wear it um, already, this piece, and on a warm day, and it was a little bit uncomfortable. Um, if you work inside, though, shouldn't be too much of a problem. But um, I personally didn't care for the little tie on, but if you wanted to kind of tension your waist, you know, you have that option to do it. It's pretty long, so you could do it in the front or the back. Um, just up to you and what you like. All right, so we'll go ahead and get into the next piece. All right, so this is the next piece. Um, this one's a little snug on the uh, on the arms, but I will say I did size down in this one to a 1X, um, which is, I mean, it's fairly comfortable. Um, the material is that material that kind of turns white if you stretch it, but um, it's fairly comfortable. I have not worn this yet. So I'm not sure how it holds up, you know, outside or in the different kinds of weather, but um, fairly comfortable. I would, I would say the only thing, it's, it's pretty snug on my arm, um, but otherwise, I like it all right. Here's the length of it. Of course, it's got the kind of scoop neck. Sorry, it keeps me on the strap here, but scoop neck. The length is pretty good on it. Comes about just like right below top of your hips, I guess. Um, pretty long in the back, not too short or anything. Um, I'll probably keep it. I, once I get rid of this uh, quarantine body, I can probably use it a little more, but that's this side, this top. All right, next piece is this kind of mustard polka dot um, shirt. And it also has that kind of pimplum style waist um, this one does have kind of a flutter sleeve. It is actually very comfortable on the arms, doesn't feel too tight. Um, and I did get this one, I believe, in a 4X. Yeah, 4X as well. Um, but it's pretty comfortable. Um, I don't know if it's see-through yet. I haven't worn it or anything yet, but I will definitely um, soon. All right, so that's the front of this shirt. Sorry, it's glowing a little bit, so you can say it's a little... Uh, flowy and then on the back it's a good length kind of covers your butt 
just in case you want that coverage, you'll get it in this top. All right, I'll go ahead and show you the next piece. Just a couple more. All right, next piece is these pants. So they say it's like gray and white. It's almost like a, like a ashy black, if you will. Um, but it's pinstripe. It's sort of like a linen type blend material. It does come with this belt. Um, I just threw on the black tank top that I had already um, so you guys could see it. It does go through all the loops. And on these pants, great surprise, pockets. I love pockets on my clothes. I feel like for women, it's really hard to find a lot of items with pockets on it. So I feel like that's always exciting for us. Um, just throw this little belt on. Alright, so the belt is pretty long, um, comes up to a good place on your um, waist here, like really right at your natural waist. Just throw a little quick bow there. Um, I don't think they're very see-through, but the length is pretty good. Again, for reference, I'm five feet even, and the um, it's a little below my foot, um, but the length is not too bad. Shoes would probably be okay, but this is the back. Hopefully I got all the loops. Nope, maybe I missed one. There it is. All right. So that's these pants. We've got two dresses and a couple of accessories and one pair of shoes I'll show you next. All right, so this is the next piece. Kept on the same black tank top. It's this really pretty, um, soft purple skirt. Um, I think it's supposed to be midi length, but on me, you can see it's like more ankle length, but I do like it. Um, I got this one in a 4X. I wasn't sure what the material was gonna be like. And I forgot to say in the last strike pants, that also was a 4X. Um, like I said, on this haul, I had sized up in pretty much everything, <laughs> but got a little better at reading the, um, the size charts. So I can get things that aren't quite so big um, moving forward and that fit a little bit better. Um, really look at the measurements. I got that tip off another YouTuber. She said, um, definitely make sure you look at the sizing. Make sure you measure yourself so that you can get pretty close with the um, fit for Shein. Um, so that's this skirt. That's the back. I don't have on shapewear or probably the correct underwear for this either. Just regular old underwear on. So if you see any of that, that's why. But I really like this. Purple is one of my favorite colors, so I was happy to find this skirt. All right, a few more to go. Bear with me. All right, so this is one of the dresses I got. I've been on the search for a little black dress for this new body I have. So um, I decided to try out this one and one other, which I'll show you next. This one's got these little um, embellished pearl uh, button details. Of course, it's faux pearl. Um, and it's got like a gold, um, sort of a gold, I guess, um, kind of overlay around it. And this is actually velvet, which I could not tell on the picture. So I probably will not wear this until like fall, fall, winter. <laughs> but I think it'd be cute still. Um, it's about midi length on me. Um, it really is actually very stretchy. Um, it's got fake pockets here. Sad, but yes, there are fake pockets. Um, but it actually feels really good. Um, it doesn't feel too warm. Um, it's actually really stretchy. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got quite a bit of stretch. Um, the buttons, or you know, this area here is not functional. It's just this top one actually maybe. Let's see if it will unbutton. And I have a t-shirt on under here, but yeah. So that one unbutton if you wanted to do a little cleavage maybe, but. Um, that's the only one. The rest do not open. They're just really there for decoration. All right, so that's the front of this dress. Right, turn around. This is the back. All right, and this one, I think this one was also in a 4X. I don't know where the tag is on it, but that's this dress. Okay, so this next piece, I'll tell you, was a fight to get on. 
It does have stretch, but it's a very constricted stretch, okay? So it's kind of like a uh, half sleeve. It's got this mock neck top. It is, it feels like it would be pretty warm. I don't think this would be a good um, dress to wear in the uh, summer. Maybe spring, probably more like fall, winter. Um, but it is very, uh, feels like it's almost like very bodycon almost. Um, this is what it looks like from the side. That. Other side. So, um, you know, I don't think it's bad. I have to look at it. I can't see it, but um, I'll look at it and see if it's something that I want to keep and wear. Um, a lot of this stuff I really got for work. But I'm thinking if I was going to do it probably with a, um, like maybe an ankle boot or a booty or something like that and a duster for work. All right. So that's this dress. No fancy. It's, it's like a crepe material too. But um, we'll go into the next few accessories. All right. Last few things are a few accessories. Um, one of these I did already wear and I just threw back on that purple skirt because it's so comfortable and I'm burning up now. So this one, sorry, like I said, I've worn these. I cannot find the gold one to save my life, but, um, they're like these little circular disc earrings. Um, they're really cute. You can see the detail on them. Um, it, I think it was like a dollar or something like that, dollar fifty. That it's got a black one, like a matte silver, this rose gold, and then it's got a yellow gold one. Um, so I got those. Again, very inexpensive. The next one I got, I haven't worn these yet. So it's like a marble kind of looking earring. I don't know if you can see the detail on it. But they're all, they're that same style, like that cylindrical disc. I thought these were a little bigger. <laughs> funny like the other ones I got were too big and these are a little small but I can work with smaller work rather than larger all right so that's the detail on those and the third pair of earrings I got I thought these were so cute um they're like this pale kind of swirly pink um and the edges I'll take it out of the pack so you can see it the edges are kind of wrapped in gold little earring backs are inside of there so that's handy they it came with two little um i don't know if you could see them but oops little clear earring backs on there but um these earrings and it's kind of like a little wavy like a floppy hat it reminds me of that's what the edge of these earrings look like very cute haven't worn them yet but i will um and then it's got it's got the regular backs the plastic with the little metal and then they've got these plastic ones just in case you need that instead. I'm going to throw those in the pack so I don't lose it. And then the very last item I got are a pair of shoes. I actually love shoes. Um, over the last few years, I've kind of transitioned from being a heel girl to like almost all flats girl. So I'll show you these shoes. This is my first pair of shoes from Shein. I tried and they're like that loafer style and it's kind of like a um i don't know I get like a light beige not white more of a uh like a creamy beige color and i felt like i didn't have anything quite in my wardrobe this color and i really like the style of them you know i know it's not for everybody um i did get these my regular size is an eight they were maybe a tiny bit snug, but I haven't worn them yet. So that may be just because I haven't broken it in. But, um, you know, it came really good looking quality. I think it's like a faux leather, um, but it's really good. But I'll try them on real quick just so you can see what they look like on. I'm going to pause and put these on real quick and I'll come back. All right. So these are the loafers. Um, they're pretty good quality, it feels like. Sorry if I'm ashy, but uh, just look at the shoe, not the ash. Okay, so this is how they look. How they look on. It's got a nice little point on it. See that? Just on the side. 
my foot is not super wide. It's a little bit wide, but not wide enough for a wide, and they end up just flopping off my foot. So it's not too narrow. If you have a mildly wide foot, then you should be okay still with these. All right, thanks so much for watching. I know I look like I've been through a, you know, a wreck now at this point, but I appreciate your time and taking time out to um, see what we got. Thank you for supporting the channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching him and I.